Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build Twitter. We're in episode 92. And in this episode, we start working on the custom radar buttons that we alluded to in the previous episode. We create a couple of style components to make up the main component, and then we style that main component. The reason we couldn't include this in the previous episode is because we had to go bug hunting and the radio button component for a typo that was super hard to find. We do eventually get that typo fixed and the radio buttons working completely as we expect them to. As always, I'm Ethan Uncoder and let's hop straight into development. So let's go ahead and take a look at making those custom buttons. Inside VS Code, we're gonna open this guy up and inside of components, I'm gonna make a new folder. Forgot radio button. We make a new file. I'm gonna call this forgot radio uh, button.tsx. We'll also go ahead and make a new file forgot radio button.css cool and i'm going to move them over here because we are going to be deleting these to call them back so when you go ahead and import react from react we're also going to use styled components so import styled from styled maybe components we're also going to import check icon and this is going to come from at MUI slash icons slash material slash check. We need a check icon as well. And then we need an interface. We're going to call this forgot radio button props. And this is going to have a clicked, which is a Boolean which should be pretty self-explanatory. Now we're gonna go ahead and start setting up some buttons. So first we're gonna have an export const and we're gonna have a styled radio button or styled radio. It doesn't matter what it's called. It's equal to styled dot input. And it's gonna take in that forgot radio button props for our back ticks. So first I have to say web kit dash appearance is none we're going to make sure we don't have an appearance and then we're going to say appearance none we're also going to say background color is white so we're going to say f f f f f f you don't need the extra three but it doesn't really matter margin is going to be zero our color is going to be white so that's fine for this case white and our width is going to be 20px our height is going to be 20px our border is going to be dollar sign we're going to say props oops props we're going to say props dot clicked question mark it has been clicked we're going to have no border otherwise we're going to have uh, 2px solid and I forgot we could do this we're gonna have this should actually be back ticks so we can use these but we can actually say props dot theme dot colors dot dark gray so we set up a bunch of colors at the beginning of the series inside of our app we can we can actually access them from the theme um we have a border radius um border because i never fixed this there we go border dash radius up 50 percent and finally we're gonna say and colon checked so if it's checked our background color is going to be blue so we're going to say coin again this is a cool little trick i say this props we're going to say props dot theme dot back or colors dot blue and really i should use this more often but it's fine and then we need a div to go around this so export const Excuse me, styled radio div. 
and this is going to equal to styled dot div with back with our actually when you forgot radio button props and then we need back takes the height of this one to be 36 px the width of this one will be 36 px the position of this one will be relative we're going to have a display of flex we're going to go ahead and justify content center we're going to align items center we're going to border radius of 100 percent and we're going to go ahead and say and colon hover whenever we hover over this one we're going to have a background color and this is going to depend so we're going to say this and dollar sign bring in our props so if our props dot clicked I don't know why props isn't working, but props dot can you please stop? Um, what's wrong with this? Background color, colon, that should be fine. Dollar sign this. Props. I don't know what the problem was, but okay. Props dot clicked question mark. So if it's clicked, we're using RGBA here, RGBA. And it's going to be 29 comma 155 comma 240 0 0.1 because we want it to be pretty light i suppose and then finally we'll have an rgba that's like the twitter blue rgba um whoops rgba and we'll have 83 comma 100 comma 113 comma 0 0.1 so like a very light gray. All right. So that is our style components. We still have to go ahead and create the forgot uh, the actual uh, components. So export const and this will be forgot radio button. This will be a react dot function component with forgot radio button props. We will pass in our clicked. We'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll go ahead and return our div. And actually, we're not returning div, we're returning a styled radio button, radio div. Clicked will equal to our clicked. I guess we didn't need the CSS actually. And inside a styled radio button or radio div, we'll have a styled radio and then like this. And once again, clicked is going to equal to clicked. And this is just an input element. So we have to actually say type is equal to radio. And we're going to go ahead and close that. And then we're going to have one more div here. I have a div class name equal to, we're going to say check mark i should probably call this forgot dash radio dash check mark like so that would probably be more um descriptive but we're going to say if we're clicked if clicked we're going to have a check icon and sx equal to and it's going to get a little bit messy Color will be white. Our font size, maybe. Oh my goodness, I'm making the same mistake over and over again. We 14 px, and then finally, our font weight is going to be a little bit thinner. This is going to be 300. And then what we'll say is we'll go ahead and close this guy. Otherwise, we're just going to have nothing. Now we had some CSS here. Give me a second to pull it up. Let's go ahead and go in here. We're going to go ahead and say dot forgot dash radio dash check. We double check, check mark. Might as well go ahead and fix this up. 
So we're going to go ahead and say for this height is 36 PX. Actually, no, we want position is absolute. Maybe absolute. We're going to say top 9 PX. We're going to say left 11 px and save i don't know if we're going to be able to see anything yet well we can't because we haven't brought it in so we need to go ahead and do that first so let me close out of a couple things we need to go ahead and bring in that custom radio button so let's go ahead and do that so back in here we forgot form 2 we'll go ahead and import and we're gonna go ahead and say forgot uh radio button and now instead of having these uh, inputs, we're gonna have a forgot radio button here. Forgot radio button. And then this needs a clicked, which we'll go ahead and just say false for now. Clicked equal to false. And then here we'll have another one, which once again, we'll just go ahead and say false. Let's go ahead and set up some state for these. So we need to grab use state. And at the top, at the top, we're gonna go ahead and say const, and we'll say email active. Set email active is equal to use state of a Boolean, and this will be false. And const, um, we'll say phone active and set phone active equal to use state in a boolean, like so. Once again, that's false. We'll also go ahead and say const handle email click equal to, and we want to go ahead and set email active to true we also want to make sure we can only click one of these at once so i'll say set phone active to false same thing here const oops handle phone click equal to and we'll do the same thing in reverse so we'll say set phone active equal to actually not that equal to true and then we'll also say set email active to false. All right, looks good. And now inside of our clicked, we'll go ahead and say this one is email active and this one is phone active. Now currently you're not gonna really see anything here. So I actually say unknown coder like that and hit next. It, it is blue, but we don't have a check mark. We don't really have anything in there. We actually need to set it up to actually use this. So let's go ahead and set up an on click back in our radio button. We need to go ahead and set up an on click. To do this, we're going to go and make a new interface. Interface forgot radio button props. And we're going to have to rename the other one. So I'm going to rename this one to styled radio button props we're going to copy this and put it here put it here and then now the forgot radio button props spelled radio wrong of course i did so now this is going to have um clicked again we still need clicked and that is still going to be a boolean but it's also going to have a handle click, which will also be able to do some other stuff for us. So handle click, a void function, pass in handle click here. Can't see anything, so that's cool. And I'm not sure, forgot radio button props. Oh, I misspelled radio button, so that's cool. So there's that. And now whenever we actually click on the div, we're gonna say on click, maybe. On click is gonna be equal to handle click, 
like so. And we'll also, what we're gonna need to do is set up a ref and a couple other things to make it so that we can actually unclick them because uh, there's no way to manually unclick them. So we're gonna go ahead and say use effect and use ref and save. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is at the top, we're gonna go ahead and set up our ref. So const radio is equal to use ref. And we're gonna say as react dot mutable ref object of an HTML input element. And this is actually something I just learned how to do. So that's pretty cool. And on our radio itself, we're gonna say ref is equal to radio. There we go. So now we can get the reference element. And then did I also grab use effect? Yes, I did. So now we're gonna say use effect and let's do our callback. And this is just going to be whenever clicked changes. And what it's going to say is if radio dot current. So we got to make sure that it exists. We're going to say radio dot current dot checked going to be equal to clicked. So this is going to say, hey, turn this on or off, basically. Cool. So now we can go ahead and fix up this last thing here and I forgot form two we need on clicks here so on click or what do we call this I forget we called this handle click so on our handle click this will equal to and uh, the first one is handle email and then this one handle click this one is going to be equal to handle phone handle phone click and save now if we come back in here um, this isn't quite working let me double check unknown coder there we go um, these are not working so we need to double check what's going on with these but these aren't working either interesting what is going on this entire thing is broken let's see forgot form 2 we have forgot form 2 css that should be fine forgot form css yes forgot form css we have our select we have our margin this is strange let's see what's going on here modal modal box modal top content forgot form container okay Header. So what is overriding all of this? This one's strange. Size is right. But for some reason, all of the fonts are messed up. Is it this? Let me check. Let me double check this. Okay, that wasn't what's breaking it. This is imported, right? This isn't even imported, but we can import this. This is, this shouldn't be the problem. But still we can import it. Still broken. But why is this broken? Interesting. Let's do some double checking here. So forgot form two. I'm gonna move these down. Like that okay we have our email active and everything i forgot form header text gray all of that stuff we've got our forgot form to select group forgot form two this goes to forgot form.css which has all the stuff in it our radio button looks fine styled radio button props styled radio button props and forgot radio button props that should be fine this one's a strange one I wonder where these styles are coming from because it shows we have the forgot form header on it, which is definitely not that, especially whenever you refresh and this one looks absolutely fine. What is overriding the font family? I mean, I don't use global CSS, or I do use it actually, as if I take it out. Still broken. Still ground from the global CSS though. This is a strange bug. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Unless for some reason it's overriding some things, but 
we come back into this CSS, it's been working just fine. It's the, it's not app CSS. Where is it at? Unless I accidentally deleted something out of here, but I don't think I did. This is definitely the same as I've always had it. And our global style should be the same. Global style still has this, so that should be fine. So this one, I'm really confused about what's going on because this should not be a problem, especially how it's working here. And it wasn't until we added the forgot buttons that it did this. So let me go ahead and try to comment these out, I guess, and see if it does anything. Is it our forgot buttons that are doing this or our radios? It is our radio buttons for some reason. So this isn't right either. Something's wrong with this. That's why. So for some reason, our radio button is breaking things. Let's see. Forgot radio CSS. That is very strange. Unless it's a use ref or something. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Let me double check all of my code here. I also noticed earlier that the hover wasn't working either. So I'm trying to figure out if I just typoed something or I'm missing something here. As you see, the hover's not working and it's actually still right. The hover is not working though. If I refresh, I wonder if it's going to break it again. Yeah, back. So, has to do something with the hover or something in here. Because the hover is not even working. So, let's see here. Let's modify this and say, let's just say like blue or something. But that's not actually broken. And let's try to bring this in. Refresh. And just say unknown coder. Whoops, somehow coder got in there twice. Now the hover is working and everything else is fine. So it didn't like this props for some reason. So something's going on with there's back ticks, there's back ticks. They have hand and hover does not like this dollar sign props. RGBA, RGBA. Oh, I found it. I found it. Let's try it again. Refresh. There we go. Refresh. Unfortunately, we have to keep putting my password in. And next. Hover is not working on not clicked for some reason. So let's see. Props clicked question mark RGBA. This should be a period. Aha, there we go. Now we can go ahead and fix it in here. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. And save. And go ahead. There we go. Click this one, and now we can click either one of them, and only one of them will be active at one time, it's working as expected. That was a strange bug. Gotta gotta actually spell things properly. Unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.